Uh, Tom, police continue to investigate here in North Glen. A shooting that happened just about a half mile away from here off of Pinnacle Creek at four this morning. Neighbors say it's a miracle that no one was hurt. In fact, one woman that we spoke to has six bullet holes that is left in her apartment as a result of this. Did it wake you up? No. Um, it somebody called the police at quarter to four and I just heard all this noise and so I got up and really? there were police everywhere. <gasps> a difficult night is giving neighbors a chance to come together. It was unreal. Oh yeah. Because we live in such a safe neighborhood. Yes. Carol Ingerson says her apartment was hit six times. God was with me. Yes. People she's rarely talked to are at her side. Well, I'm so glad you're up and okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Thank this you. This is too close to home. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the first time anything like this has happened. Never, never. Most people woke up after the first shot. And then there were the following shots, pop, pop pop, 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 and then the muffler sound of, you know, what sounded like a car hitting the gas and just speeding off. Tony Rachev is not sure he'll feel safe if his family stays at home the next few nights. We don't know. We don't know, but it's, um, it doesn't feel, it doesn't, we, it's definitely not a pleasant feeling. We don't know if that's going to be followed up with if, if there's going to be a follow up. Neighbors feel uneasy, questioning if the building was targeted. Yep, and it wasn't me. I'm an old lady and I have a lot of friends. Newly connected <laughs> neighbors will have to rely on each other. My name so, is Terry. Well, I'm let's Carol. Do this. Shall we do this? To have that sense of safety. Thank you. Uh huh. Return again. Bye bye. Police are still looking for the person responsible. Now, multiple neighbors told us that police told them that they do believe this is targeted. So we reached out to the police department to ask if they could provide any additional information or confirm that specific fact. They did not return our calls. So at this point, it's still a little bit unclear as to what the circumstances surrounding it are. Tom? Well, you certainly understand the apprehension, uh, especially in that neighborhood. All right, Angeline, thanks.